Greetings in the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to our service in Sitam Kisumu. We want to bring this polite notice to all of our members and the visiting people that we have two services. The first service begins from 8 to 9.30. The second service begins from 11 to 12.30. Every first Sunday of the month is our Holy Communion Sunday. And we like to implore all our members that the time the pastor stands to read the relevant scripture, all our doors will be closed. So if you come after the pastor has read the scripture, you'll be locked out. We are calling upon you to keep time because that is one way of saying you value what is happening in the kingdom. Welcome and God bless you. Are you a 2013 ex can parent? Then you are invited for a meeting that will take place on the 16th of March 2014 from 1.30 to 2.30 at class 3N. The meeting will be hosted by our very own Pastor Collins Muema. Purpose to attend. Do you have a desire to start your own business as a man? And you fear, will the business really pick or will I fail? Don't fear or don't worry. On the 15th of this month, Men's Fellowship have a discussion on how to start your own business and sustain it. You can't afford to miss this noble cause. Starting from 7.30 a.m. to 9. The second school of missions class enrollment is on. The classes begins on the 16th of March 2014. Register today at the missions desk for eight weeks of intensive mission training. The missions and outreach are trusting God for powerful outdoor sound equipment. Please pray for this venture of faith and when called upon to support, please be willing. More information will be rolled out as we go on. Thank you and God bless you. All those who would like to dedicate their babies to God are reminded of our training class next Sunday in Class 3 Nazareth. Be blessed. All Sunday school teachers kindly plan to attend your bi-monthly meeting on 9th March 2014 after the second service in Class 8. The Men's Fellowship invites you to Operation Akuna Kulala, mission all night of prayer seeking restoration of men, partakers, men. You've heard it said before, I'm sure, that nature abhors a vacuum. This is absolutely true when it comes to leadership. If you do not lead your family, someone else will. Someone else will have to. But God has called you to lead. To lead your wife, to lead your family, to lead your ministry, to lead your community, to lead your country, to lead the world. For this reason we come together as men to seek the face of the Lord for his favor. To lead as a husband, to lead as a father, to lead in personal worship, to lead in family worship, to lead in corporate worship. These are the men of influence leading with confidence, dignity, gentleness, love. They lead in leadership. Taking place on the 17th of April 2014 from 9 p.m. till dawn. Our sisters are advised to pick any of the three options to intentionally help accomplish this great mission of transformation. One, release them early. Two, send them out. Or three, chase them out as circumstances may call. All for the glory of God. All parents of Little Angels Ministry are invited to attend a meeting on the 9th of March 2014 in Class 8 Nazareth after the second service. The topic will be immunization of children and health. Be blessed. The CETA Missions Office is organizing a mission to Sao Paulo in Brazil during this year's World Cup. We have very limited spaces available. The missioners are expected to raise their own airfare. Meals and accommodation in Sao Paulo will be provided. Interested CITAM members, that is the registered people, should get a letter of recommendation from the senior pastor. The closing date for the registration is March 10, 2014, 
while the deadline for paying the airfare is 16th April 2014. Details of how to make payment will be given to those who qualify and have submitted their applications to the missions office. Opportunity will be given on a first-come, first-served basis. Limited chances are available. Okay, I'm called uh, Frederick Werima. I am the Bible study coordinator for Zone 3. And uh, I want to speak uh, something little about home Bible study groups. Uh, and I've realized that so many people uh, don't belong to Bible study groups in the estates. And it's very important for each and every member of SITAM to belong to a Bible study. Because this is where people grow spiritually. My name is Anna Gina. Uh, I joined the SITAM in um, 2010. Uh, then when it came to 2011, um, I remember my husband fell ill, then Pastor Ibrahim and uh, Ina, Annelima came to visit me in my home. We prayed and um, in 2012 he was, he, he had been, he, he was very, very ill and he was in ICU for almost one month. And the, and the people of God prayed with me, and uh, he came out of that. And um, he came out of the ICU, and he came out, and he was well again. Though he, he succumbed in 2013, and again, I saw the love of my, my, my fellow Bible study members. They stood by my side, and uh, really, I thank God because of them. And uh, my advice to everyone is that it's important for you to have a group where when you have a problem or you have a, a celebration you have people whom you who can stand by your side so I really thank God for this Bible study